Hello everybody, Mailman here from Goat Productions. Second night in a row, budget set up. You got the ATN Excite LTV, $599. With that ATN OTS LT, the new one, internal battery, loving that thing, $999. I got the smallest one there to team it up to have that budget combo. Good thing in South Carolina here is when I go for hogs, and I went out there with Matt the other night, and nothing's happening up until about midnight, past midnight. So I switch then. My hogs are in the morning, right before daylight, my hogs are going to be good. For some reason, turkey season, I get on the hogs right before daylight. So I like to switch it to the coyotes now. Still mating season, and it takes some pressure off the hogs if I go after coyotes. Rotate back and forth, I keep some of the pressure off some of my properties. So I went to my best coyote hunting property, driving in. Once I hit the farmer's fields, I turn my scanner on. I'm just cruising up there 10, 15 miles an hour, scanning the fields. As I'm pulling in, going through, I want to see where the cows are, what the location of the cows. That brings me coyotes sometimes. They like to get in amongst those cows. Well, I'm driving up and there's no cows in the field, but I catch a coyote lay down by one of the water tanks and just lets me drive by. One of the things that they do sometimes is as we're pulling in there, you're either going to see them run off, but some of them, smarter ones, they'll kind of just lay down there and let you drive by. So I went up and I parked. I'm working my way back down the road to get in to shooting range of this coyote. At least see where it goes, watch what it's doing. On my lease to the right, it's too thick, I don't go in there and hunt, but a pair of lights off. And they're lighting off and this coyote comes up over the hill, I'm going to show you a little bit of video with the three to nine, comes up over the hill, goes back down over. So I'm just sneaking down the road to possibly get a shot at this coyote that's just out there doing his thing. Finally come down and this coyote's bedded. This coyote beds down in there in the wind and I get a nice shot at it and it must have been downhill a little bit, but I'm shooting at the bedded coyote and I shoot right over top of it. It happens. Regroup after I miss that coyote, it takes off and goes to the left. All I do is I rotate up in, check the wind, and I come in facing my lease, get within 150 yards of the wood line of our lease, and I get out there, set up the Ica Tech, and I go to Amy Interrogation Howl from Predator Tactics. All it is is a female interrogation howl. Play the first two so it howls, then it howls again, and then I pause it, wait a little bit, and I hit that third howl and play that third nice long howl, shut it down, on our lease, I'm now a lot closer, within 100, 125 yards of the wood line, I hear the coyote sound off. I think it was a pair. Wait a little bit of time, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then on the top, on the top side, they come, one of them comes out to take a look down at the female that was howling. About 140 yards to that wood line to my left. I was closer to my lease, but up on the upper side, about 140 yards. Coyote comes down in a little bit, and I put the three to nine on it. I was running low on my battery on my IR. I was getting a little bit worried, but took the shot between 130, 140 yards, dropped the coyote in one shot, went up there, and had a nice female. So they're still on the on the mating pattern, coming to those female howls. All it was was that one female howl, brought that coyote in here, one and done last night. Bringing you more. I'm not going to go out tonight, but what we're going to do is bring you a lot more with that budget combination get you and show you exactly what numbers we could put up with that. So here's the video.